you know, we're driving along the 89 toward Cottonwood, and um, see a couple cars ahead of us, and um, the way he's like tailgating this car, you know, and break in, and and finally gets over to, to pass this guy, and then the guy he was trying to pass speeds up again, and then he drops behind him, breaks, and you know, it was like cat and mouse. The one dude who um, kept speeding up actually got over into the other lane and then crossed back over. It's like, why are you playing fucking games like that? Right? It's a vehicle. It's Arizona too, baby. Just reach out with a gun. It's big. But don't be playing no fucking games when you're driving a vehicle like that. I learned in Denver one time... Um, you know, fuck, the, the right lane was ending because there were there was construction, arrows move over, right? And I get over and this fucking dude comes along from the other side just trying to speed up and almost pushing me out of my lane. And I was like, fuck you, buddy, man. It said way back there a quarter mile ago, that lane was ending. So you want to just be ahead? Fuck you, you know? And I'm going, fuck, you know? Dude fucking, um, some... 40-year-old fucking Mexican, right? Leans out the window and flashing gang signs at me and shit. I went, how fucking old are you, man? Fuck, you probably got grandkids, bitch. But if I had a gun, I'd have capped his ass. And don't even ask me about the time I almost maced a mom and her kids. For real. Some police mace. Hmm. That's why I mean a gun. I don't know, but I'm calmer now, so I might be able to do it. And I'm applying for my prison job tomorrow. And if there's extra pay based on the fact that um, I'm certified to carry a weapon, I'm owning. I'm owning, right? And then I was telling Jan last night, I said, man, I wonder if I could fucking beat people up legally, right? Because I got a cop in my back pocket and a judge going, Jim, you work for our prison. We love you. So you go ahead and bop on the population. 